Summer is finally here. Kids will soon be out of school already for a family camping trip. But if you've never done it before, the state is offering a first time campers program. And joining me this morning to talk about the program and some camping tips is Allison Kluginski from the Michigan Department of Natural Resources. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. This is very comfortable. We yeah. should do every interview <laughs> like this. Okay, so for first time campers, what's going on this summer? Um, first time campers, it's for anyone that hasn't camped before in a Michigan State Park. For $20, you get two nights of camping in select state parks. There's 19 parks in total. You get all of the gear that you see here. You get a tent, fishing poles, a stove, chairs. The only thing that you need to bring is your food, cooking utensils, and bedding. And then once you get to the park, the Michigan DNR, the park officers, they'll help you set up your tent. There's someone there that kind of gives you a rundown of the park. If you have any questions about anything, they'll help you out. So you get two nights of camping for 20 bucks. Um, all this gear is sponsored by Gander Mountain. That's a really good deal yeah. because I know some first-time campers might be a little afraid or intimidated about putting up a tent, but they'll do it for you. Yeah. That's so, yeah, that's fantastic. There's also something that we need to know about, though, this summer for all campers in general. Right. For all the state parks and recreation areas, you need the Michigan passport. So when you renew your license, you check yes for the passport. It costs $10 for a motor vehicle, $5 for a motorcycle, and that gets you into all the state parks. So when you renew your tags, you just check yes for it. It's an extra $10. You have access to all the state parks. So if you want to do first-time camping, make sure you have a passport. If you've already renewed your tags and don't, didn't sign up for the passport, when you go to any of the state parks, you can also check for the passport as well. Getting back to the first time campers program, what's the goal of it? Just to get people more involved and yeah, see just, how fun it is? Just to get people more involved with camping. If they've never tried it before or like when they were younger, if they've gone camping and just kind of want to get back into it. So it's just kind of to get people out there and really get to know the state parks and know that they're there for you if you ever want to go camping somewhere close to home. Yeah, that's true. So. It gives you a great way to see the state and get to know our state a little bit better. Right. Um, talk about camping in general. What does it do for families? and friends and bringing um, people together. Well, me, when I go camping with my friends, it's great. I mean, you can, you get, you're outside the entire time. You don't have to worry about being inside or what movie's playing or what's going on. Like, you make your own schedule and you just kind of get out there, make your own food, go to the beach for the day, go for a hike. So it's really cool and you get to see new things and it's all kind of unpredictable but in a cool, fun way. All right, Allison, thanks so much. We appreciate your time and Thank the you. tips this morning. This has been very comfortable and you can find more information on our website, wxyz.com, on all this camping stuff going on this summer under the scene on 7 section.